Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Back out in the fuel shed tonight and uh, had a few people ask uh, to go over some of the details on how the centrifuge works and ask about how some of this stuff is plumbed up. So I figured I'd uh, just take this time to go over some of the little details on the plumbing and how the centrifuge works exactly. So let's get started. <laughs> Once we're up to this gravity drum, these fittings here are all three quarter MPT. This uh, this threaded bung here actually had a knockout for three quarter in the middle, so that just made it simple. I went with three quarter; it was easy. Uh, same with the one up there. You don't have to do this little uh, sight tube, but it made it nice for me. This is all three quarter, three quarter ball valve, three quarter nineties. The uh, filter head that I got, which is a hydraulic filter, it was uh, three-quarter MPT also. So it's three-quarter all the way through, down to uh, a three-quarter inch hose barb. And this is just uh, braided vinyl tubing. You can get it at pretty well any hardware store. It's three-quarter as well. So it all comes down here, feeds the bottom of the heater, comes up. This All this hose was provided by the manufacturer. So this all came from WVO Designs. Uh, it's all three quarter as well. So I'll pop this open. And this has not been cleaned out since uh, the last batch I just ran this weekend. But uh, yeah, so it's probably gross. But you can see the little fitting coming in the center there. I'm gonna set this back out of the way so we can get up here and take a look. As you can see, there's quite a bit of sludge and mess left down in there. But uh, yeah, that fitting right there comes into the center of this cone. And this cone has three little outlets down at the bottom of the bowl. So all the oil is forced down to the bottom. And as this spins, it forces the oil out to the sides, which as this bowl fills up, the clean oil will come out of the top and be flung against this outside wall. And when it gets flung down here, it drains down and comes out of this tube here, which goes on down to our finish drum. Now, this has a, uh, there's a lip in here. It's kind of hard to see, but this bowl sits down inside a, 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 another bowl, basically. And there's drains inside this. So when this comes to a stop and stops spinning, it uh, any excess oil that's in it drains from this fitting over here and goes down into a five gallon bucket under the workbench. But that's pretty well it. Heated oil comes into the center. As this spins, this is spinning at 3400 RPM. It flings all the nastiness out, as you can see inside the bowl all of this was stuck to the bowl and once the machine stopped it all settled back down to the bottom but uh, all the nastiness is heavier than the oil is so it stays in the bowl and the clean oil comes out the top over this lip and gets collected on the outside to drain down and this is just a uh, back to three quarter inch uh, braided nylon tube it comes down some uh, one inch tees and some one inch fittings down here. Just had what, what I had laying around. I wasn't too concerned with it. And the pump is all plumbed with three quarter as well. So mine set up a little differently. I've got a, a T coming off the pressure side of the pump. This goes out to our fill nozzle and our filter head outside. This goes down to this valve right here. Now, with this valve shut off, it can only go out to the filter head and the nozzle outside. But with this valve open, it can come back in around here and back into the top of the drum. That lets us circulate this drum, so when we're, uh, we're mixing our thinners, the gasoline, stuff like that, we pour it in the top, and that pump will uh, circulate the whole drum for us. 
out here just a cheap standard filter head from like a transfer pump you might find on the back of a farm truck things like that you can find these at places like tractor supply rural king any farm supply store will have them you can get them online this is standard ah, this is standard three quarter inch fuel hose that would be used on any uh, fuel transfer pump or what have you and this is a def nozzle that came with my pump when i i bought that whole package deal i got it uh I got it used and it was cheap and uh, that's what I went with because uh, hey, it was there. So anyways, someone also asked about power consumption. So we've got our heater here, which runs at a thousand watts and our electric motor here. Let's see if I can find the, uh, of course the tag is on the back. Let's see if I can get down in here. I'll have to look it up and see what the, uh, Motor tag says, I'm sure it's just a few amps because I'm dropping stuff. But uh, basically, you could uh, amperage times voltage equals wattage. So you can figure the wattage of the motor. Uh, so everything out here is 115 volt. So I would take uh, the amperage the motor runs at, multiply it by 115. That'll give us the running wattage. Uh, we've already got the running wattage of the heater and then just uh, figure out uh, your run time. So this uh, heater being a thousand watts every hour it's on costs us a kilowatt hour of electricity. Uh, the motor you would figure the wattage and every hour it runs would be the same thing. Uh, so this heater running for a 10 hour batch is 10 kilowatt hours and it's 14 cents a kilowatt hour here and which we're on solar, so it doesn't really uh, doesn't really count, but gives you an idea to to figure it out for yourself. And I mean that pretty well covers it. Uh, it's plumbed pretty simple. Uh, I just followed the uh, plumbing instructions that came with the centrifuge. I may end up changing this a little bit. I'm thinking about taking one of these fittings out here and uh, venting it outside. Reason being is to let uh, let some of that moisture evaporate off. I may contact WBO Designs and see if uh, if that's something that would affect performance or not. But uh, I think it would work out really well, but uh, we'll see. I might give them a call and find out. But uh, yeah, that pretty well covers it. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. But uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, we appreciate you watching.